copilot we can observe that in today's market the demand of the copilot is following the exponential behavior but what it is and how we can build it and specifically how it can impact our productivity or the service that we are offering to our customers hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video we will try to create a scenario where we can leverage this copilot and try to answer what it is and how we can build it and what impact it can give to our customers so copilot is nothing it's just a advanced version of our chatbots if you remember in power platform we used to have a power virtual agent that was a domain through which we used to create the chatbots that you can integrate either to your application or to your custom sites or to your teams channel or wherever you would like to add this chatbot is something where the user can come and interact and they can sort their queries or if they would like to get some sort of a help they can take it from the chatbot itself so it means we are somewhere decreasing the the amount or the head count that we need to handle the user query we will build a chatbot that can handle the user queries okay so this copilot is a medium through which we can build the chatbots in this video i'm just trying to create a scenario where i need to build a system let's say in my organization we need we build the custom sites custom website for that we need we have some developers who may not have a good understanding in html or css but they would like to learn or they you just assign them to build a site and they just need the support whenever they would like to so what we can do we can create a chatbot for them through which they can get the code ready based on their requirements and use it in their work that's how it can increase the productivity for any organization okay so how we can create it so let me just take you to my screen here i'm on my copilot studio home screen okay this copilot studio is somewhere related to our dataverse environment so it in each environment you can build your copilot if you just like this powerapps.com if you just remember this urmake.powerapps.com you just need to go to this more and here you can see you have a option to go to chatbots once you click here it opens the chatbots that you have inside your environment whenever you click on this new chatbot it opens the copilot studio for you so either you come from this way or you directly come with the url i just provide you this url in the description it is simple copilot.studio.microsoft.com copilotstudio.microsoft.com okay you can check that i am in the environment prs dev us this is my environment so if something i'm building inside an environment means i can use the whatever resource i have inside this environment i can use that as well so in environment we always have dataverse tables or we will have the dataverse tables we can use that inside our chatbots as well okay so let's say we will build a copilot that would have help developers to solve their coding issues okay or if they would like to generate a code for something they can do that so how we can do we'll just try to create a new and then it this is so here it will give you the templates you can use any of the template if you would like to but i always prefer to go with the scratch so i'll just click on this new copilot and then there are some like here you can just describe your chatbot if you would like to okay if you just describe it the the system will create the copilot as per your description okay so i i'm just for now i'm just skipping this 
and here it just give me the option through which I can pass the basic details for my copilot so let's say I just need to give my copilot a name that is my developer Hello, developer helping hand okay that's it VVL developer and here you can just change the icon if you would like to change the icon you can just describe this copilot is used to take help in coding for custom websites okay now here you can just pass the instruction how you want your copilot to return the answers then you have a knowledge like which medium which database it will use in order to generate the response for you okay you just click on this and here you can see it can either connect it to any public website it can connect to sharepoint and there are some more options but which are disabled for now they would be enabled once your copilot is ready okay but in the initial you just need to, you just have only these two options so if i remember i we used to use a site which was uh, w3 school okay this site we used to use in order to uh, learn anything about any programming language so i'm going to use this as my knowledge base that my copilot would use to generate the response i just click on this public site and here i can pass my link or the url of my site i click on this add i can pass let's say w3 school z oh my god i just done something leave and let me do it one more time public site control v at i'm just changing the name of this to let's say w3 school okay now i just click on this add now this particular site data would be used as my knowledge base for this copilot and copilot would use the information whatever is there on this site to generate the response for us now i just click on this create now this copilot studio would take some time and do the some things at the back end so that your chatbot or through which your the your users are going to interact would be ready okay so now it is ready for me here i can see i have a knowledge base which is enabled and uh, i have used w3 schools for this one i have topics as well if you remember how we used to create the the virtual agents it's like we just pass some sequence of steps that would be followed in or while doing any type of conversation with the end users okay or the visitors who is on your chats so through here you can just add or delete some topics or you can create a custom topics that we can that would i just uh, explain this in another video in detail actions is like if you would like to do any type of a api call or any type of a power automate call that you can use here okay and now what i'll just do i'll just publish this one okay now once you use any external site as a knowledge base for your system you need to make sure that the generative ai is enabled inside your environment okay and you can enable this through your power platform admin center so how you can go to that just go to your here just go to this power admin center of your power platform and click on this sign in and then just go to your environment because your co-pilot is sitting inside a particular environment just select your environment my environment is prs dev uf us and here at the bottom you have a generative ai feature enabled make sure that it is enabled okay if it is not enabled you would not be able to use the external 
knowledge base in order to get some responses okay so make sure that it is enabled or it is allowed if it is not you just need to click on this edit and then turn on this flag only the global admins can do that do this okay so make sure you just check this one now it is enabled for me and now i could just go back to my copilot and then try to test if it is working fine or not so let's say i say hi so here it is also saying that hello i'm a developing developer helping hand okay that's the name i given to this one i just give hi and now i say generate a code for table creation in html the moment i hit enter it would go to my w3 schools this particular site and then get me the content which would be used in order to generate a code okay so here you can see this code i can use in order to generate a table inside my html that's how you can use uh, you can build a copilot and later if you would like to use this copilot into your teams you just need to publish it okay you can use this copilot either inside your teams channel or inside your canvas app or maybe to any external site or maybe any custom site that you have where your developers actually go and ask their queries okay so i think publish will take some time okay now it is done here i'll just go from this top navigation i have a channels now these are the places where i can attach my this particular copilot whether it's my teams or whether it's my custom site mobile app anything okay i whenever i just click on the any particular teams it, it would get me a option through which i can just turn it on or and then attach it to my channel okay that's how we can build our copilot if i just tell you more about this copilot studio here we i if i just click on this copilots it would list me all the copilot which is there inside my this particular environment so this is the one that we just created okay so that is all in this video as a as a starting point for the copilot sooner or later we will just go deeper into it and then we'll just try to find more possibilities and more functionality that we can build in order to create a more effective and efficient copilot for our users right now this is more for the developers but later we can create a copilot that can be used for by the business owners to get the insights of their data so many things we can design but as a starting source and as a starting material just try to see how we can build it so that is all in this video everyone I just see you in another videos of this topic where I would come with more complex scenarios. Okay. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.